So I've been seeing a lot of people lately using ChatGPT software to actually write code for a website or ask a question or solve a specific topic, for example. But I have seen nobody actually using it to write code for an Arduino. So this is what I'm going to show you today in this video. So if you go to the website of openai.com, you can click and try the uh, research version of ChatGPT which is actually a very advanced chatbot uh, which uses deep learning models to actually use a lot of data on the, on the internet to come up with the perfect answer. So it's actually able to write code for an Arduino, for example. So let's say if you uh, don't have any experience with Arduino and you don't know how to start, uh, the first thing you could, for example, do is uh, you can ask it to write a script to blink the LED of the Arduino. <clears throat> so for example, you say like, uh, write a Arduino script to blink uh, a LED. So it will actually come up with a decent script, uh, which you can uh, copy and paste into the Arduino IDE. So yeah, it's actually using the constant end, let pin 13, void setup. Uh, it's using the pin mode, it's using a void loop, which will use digital write to uh, actually trigger the let pin high and low and with a small delay inside. And it is actually giving some little uh, explanation with it too. So if we go to this code and actually copy it, and we go to Arduino and just paste it in here and we compile it. It takes some time. So you can see it's actually compiled perfectly. So that means there are no mistakes in the code. So for example, if we want a little more complex code. So you have started out with some projects by yourself or using ChatGPT, and now you want to make a self-balancing robot, for example. So just the same thing as uh, as pre previous example. Write a code for a uh, write a Arduino code for a self-balancing robot. So again, it comes up with a, all the included libraries you need. Adafruit, Sensor, <coughs> IMU, IMU, MAT. So it's actually using an inertial measurement unit and the required MAT uh, to calculate uh, the integral derivative terms. So if, if this code is actually not uh, really satisfied by you, it's very simple, you just can click after the code is finished to regenerate the answer. So what you also can do, uh, for example, if you don't want to use all these complex uh, libraries, um, you can just type in after the code is finished, like uh, don't use the Adafruit sensor library, for example. I can, can show you that in a minute. So you see it's actually finished already. So it uses, uses the, the output equals the, the proportional term times the error plus the integral term times the integral plus the derivative term times the derivative. Um, so yeah, it is, it's actually using a PID control uh, theory to come up with the self-balancing uh, effect and it is actually giving again some little explanation so you see it you, it's uh, it says you can attach the bno uh, 055 sensor to the i square c bus and the motors to connect to pin 9 and 10 on the arduino board so again if we go to the top of the code we can copy it Go to Arduino, 
And after you have installed the, uh, the libraries you need, you can actually compile it again. And yeah, you see, I don't have this uh, library installed, for example. So if I say, uh, now regenerate the code, but without libraries. All right, so it's now using the SDA and SCL pins, um, making some double terms for the KP, KI, and KD. So set point, previous error, and crawl output, motor constants. Okay, interesting. So you can see for for every uh, question you ask the, the chat GPT, it can come up with a different, totally uh, different answer, but with the same outcome. So for example, a very simple code like blinking a LED is not very complex for this uh, AI to solve, but a more complex code like a self-balancing robot, you can use a lot of different uh, libraries or codes or strategies to control this uh, this robot. So you see it's typing all the code manually without using any library, which could make our work a little bit easier, but we are lazy, I guess. And we don't want to install all these libraries because we can just use the chat GPT. So you see again, um, it comes up with a very good looking code with a little explanation again. And for example, it says again, it uses the uh, sensor it, uh, it used before in the previous code. So if we say uh, rewrite, uh, but don't use the BNO. Uh, 055 sensor. So it actually comes up again with the same example, but now a different code because it's it's using another sensor. So it's just uh, using an analog input for the gyro, still using the PID values. So yeah, that's the, really the power of this uh, of this tool. You could eventually use it like for all your problems, asking it to write a little game, for example, uh, or or write Python scripts, or um, writing, for example, a website plugin for your WordPress website, which I have made a few another uh, tutorials about on my channel so uh, you could have a look about uh, to that here it, it actually this is funny this code is similar to the previous version but it does not use the sensor to measure the angle of the robot instead it uses a gyroscope connected to the arduino board to measure the angle okay that's interesting the gyroscope should be connected to an analog input pin for example, A0. So it's actually writing the code and at the same time uh, perfectly explains you what to do and what to connect to your Arduino on which pins. So it couldn't be easier than this pen. So uh, yeah, in the future I will do some uh, new tutorials uh, about other concepts, but uh, this just shows the power of this uh, ChatGPT tool. And uh, I'm only scared to, uh, to think about what this could bring in the future because it looks like a lot of jobs could be replaced in the future. But uh, let's just keep it positive for now. And uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, and let, uh, yeah, let me know what you want to see next time.